Have you ever stumbled upon something so mysterious and intriguing that it sparked your imagination and left you with more questions than answers? Today, I'm going to dwell into the strange case of this abandoned 1950s time capsule home and speculate on why the family living here suddenly vanished, leaving behind everything as if it was frozen in time. I just had to know what happened. I dug through newspaper articles. Now this paper right here, it says March 30th, 1998. This does not feel like a real newspaper at all. This feels like somebody like faked this stuff and just put it here. Daily journals, family photo albums, and more. After putting the pieces of the puzzle together the best I could, this is what I figured out. It all began with a young couple, Albert and Margaret. They purchased this house in 1955 had kids and moved into this charming home that seemed like the perfect fit for their family. But what perplexes me is that almost everything inside was from the 1950s, except some of the photo albums. I would say this looks like the 60s or 70s, probably 70s. This house was a true time capsule, complete with vintage furniture, appliances, and decor that had remained untouched for decades. But something was weird. It seems as if they abandoned this house during their last Christmas here together. But why? Was this house really left abandoned since the 1950s? Why would a family not update their furniture and belongings over time? Why would they not take all of their belongings with them? It seemed as if these people usually kept to themselves and rarely interacted with others. Despite their reclusive nature, I assumed they were happy and content in their home. Until one day, the family vanished without warning, leaving the house and all of their belongings behind. Some local residents stated that the nearby community was baffled by their sudden departure and people began to wonder what could have led the family to leave so abruptly? Was another family living with them as well? Who knows, but the family photo albums were quite confusing. Now, as we step into this frozen moment in time, I'll explore some of the speculations and theories that have emerged about why Albert and Margaret left their home in such a mysterious fashion. Let's investigate the intrigue and uncover the possible reasons behind this puzzling mystery. Stick around and help me figure out what really happened to this family, because there's so much more I need to show you. The name is Ranger Rick. My mission in this series is to go back to the past, dig it up, search for clues, and stay curious. In each episode, I tell stories of abandoned places and their history. So come with me, let's explore together, and see what we can find. What's up, Rangers? So before we begin today's episode, I want to tell you that I would like you to join my Patreon page. Go to www.patreon.com forward slash Ranger Rick TV. And by your pledge of $2 a month, you'll receive a simple thank you by me in the tier one package. For $5 a month in the tier two package, I'll feature your name in the ending credits in each video, plus a simple thank you as well. If you do not wish to pledge, that's okay. Thanks anyway. Now enjoy the show. All right, it's time to explore. But if you know me, I like to always come through the front door as if you were the owner. How would it feel if you were the owner coming through the front door? Here's the problem. The front door is barricaded with a whole bunch of junk. 
So we're going to start off how would it feel if you were coming through the back door if you were the owner. Now let's explore and see what we have in store for this place. So you come in through the back door. This is one of the first things you see, of course, the kitchen. And of course, of course, any urban explorer likes to see what is inside a refrigerator that has been sitting for decades and decades. As you can see, some French's brown must spicy brown mustard, Joe's mango mar uh, lemonade, and I thought this place I thought it would be filled with maggots, but it's not. It doesn't smell that bad. But I got a mask on today for obvious reasons. And this is, I like this. Look at this. This is like a little anvil piece. It's like Thor's hammer almost. I like that. Let me get a good zoom in on that. Wish I could take that home, but I'm not. I'm going to leave it right here. Here we have an old medicine cabinet filled with well, soap and some petroleum jelly back there. Bottle of old Windex. Yeah, because all of this stuff right here, all of these are current labels. Still to this day, McCormick Spice Company still uses the same labels for a lot of this stuff. So let's look for clues to see if we can find when this place went abandoned. So, carrying on to the next room, my battery is about to die, so I definitely have to change it. But coming into this room right here, let's, uh, let's go to the dining room. Alright. So, here's the dining room. It looks like a whole bunch of mess, because it is. And you can tell right here, like along these walls and ceiling, this place has seen better days. Mother Nature is definitely reclaiming back what's hers. And I always like looking at old pictures. Looks like he had a couple of young boys in the family. And young girls. That's when you know a picture's old when everybody has an afro in it. <laughs> Even the white people got afro sometimes. Look at that. I like looking at old pictures. Even if they're not of me. Just brings you back to the good old days, I guess, you know. When everybody was having a good time. No internet, no cell phones. Not much TV at all. This was like, if I had to take a guess, I would say this looks like the 60s or 70s. Probably 70s. found this. This looks to be more current. Definitely more current. Everything's in a... Uh, more of a brighter color you can tell like pictures from the 70s just kind of had that faded vintage look with this ah yeah see 89 military ball here's some more pictures on the back yeah this is my favorite looking through pictures so what else we can find in here <clears throat> i'm about to fall down looking at all this stuff what is this this is another picture book oh all of these are ruined Look what water does to these pictures here over time. If you just let something sit, this reminds me of Hurricane Katrina days where my house flooded. And the water got all over everything and just started consuming everything. All right, so what I did here, I found a whole bunch of pictures and I just laid them out so we can kind of scan across and see a little bit faster what's going on here. Looks like they had a little child in the family. That child's probably like 30 years old now. Yeah, this looks like it was from, does it say 1992? Yeah, I was going to say probably the 90s. <laughs> Every kid had those uh, back in my grammar school. Those big old fat ass glasses. All right, we're going to walk into this room right here. And this is the living room. And I already know, don't tell me, I already know this is going to be everybody's favorite room because of a good reason. This resembles that true time capsule appearance. Like I said, the only problem is we can't come through the front door because it's barricaded by a whole bunch of trash. And I'm too big to squeeze through that little bitty hole. But here we go. Let me set the perfect picture for you. Alright. So. 
Danny coming in after he gets off of work. He comes from home from a long day of work. He's going to sit right there. Mama sit right there. I'm going to save that part for later. And then Grandma, she's been sitting here all day preparing food for the family. And you can tell she's got a little garment right there to keep her warm. And who are we going to put right here? You got about three kids in the family. They're all going to sit in that one spot. And watch television right there. That's where they're going to watch it on that old screen TV. Let's go over there and check it out. All right. So the first thing that you see when you come over here is this. I have no idea what this is, but it looks like a bird's nest or something. Followed by the big screen TV. It was considered a big screen back in the 50s and 60s. I have no idea what brand this is, but if you do know what brand this is, you know what to do. Drop it in the comments. And I used to be a bowler back in the day. Well, I'm not picking that up, but you know, looks like a 10 pound ball, maybe, maybe a 12 pound. You got two bowling bags right here, bowling shoes. Let me get on my life for this one. Hold on, because I want you to see what grandma looks like. Look at that. That's grandma right there. By a whole, by a whole bunch of lid paint right there too. And right now we're going to come down here. Check out, see what we got. What did they like to read? Understanding the human brain. These are all like medical books it looks like maybe. And religious books. And right here it looks like they like to play tennis. So that's kind of cool. Moving on up. Looks like they were religious because we have a cross of Jesus right there. And then moving over to here. This is their bookshelf and it looks like they like to read the Nutcac uh, Nutcracker, The Candle Will Fall. If you know of any of these books, yeah, definitely leave it in the comments, fill us in. If this is your one of your favorite books here, definitely leave it in the comments. I like this little piece right here. Bet you any money, Grandma put that there. All right, let's scroll along here and see what we can see. This is, oh, okay, let me paint this picture for you. This right here looks, this place looks like it's been abandoned since Christmas time. I know that because you got the Christmas decorations right there. And some right here too. So let's paint a picture. Let's see. I would say Mama's over here decorating the mantle putting pictures up daddy coming over here and smoking his pipe because that's what this thing look at that pipe how often do you see one of these pipes that is badass that's something like some steampunk stuff right there then mama continues to decorate the tree for christmas and then they wake up christmas morning the kids are excited they come from upstairs, they rush down here and demolish this tree and open their presents and everybody is happy. That's the picture that I got from this. You paint your pictures down below in the comments. Let me know what you think. Create a story for this place because I, I mean honestly I have no idea yet but I'm gonna, I'm gonna find out and we're all gonna kind of research together and see what we can find. Now let's see what we can see out here. Obviously this is the outside. And this is right off a highway. It looks like we're buried in the forest. But if you look a little bit closer, there is the highway. And every now and then you got a little car that passes through. But, you know, judging how old this place is and how long it's been sitting, that piece of glass has been holding up pretty good. And you want to know something? It's surprisingly almost spotless clean for something like this. Let's go back to this mantle. I don't, move, I don't want to move along too, too fast. But you got red brick, classic. You got this thing. I'm not too sure what this is. Maybe it has something to do with the fireplace. I never had one of these, but I did have a fireplace growing up. That's kind of what we're looking at. Very old. And here's the sticks and everything to move out the ashes. Clean it up. And then we're going to come over here and look at this little lampshade. Along with this little setup right here. I don't know who that is. That might be... The mama, and of course that's the kids, but I think that might be the mama way back in the day when she graduated. 
give out give a shout out to these old clocks right here this old alarm clock I think this is also a radio combined look how old it is this is how you change the ch what the hell was that I think that was a bird this is how you change the channel on one of these things like that watch this little needle move can y'all see that on camera needles moving let's put that back where we found it all right so i just want to mention something about this house i'm just here looking around and everything and a lot of the stuff has been flooded so i don't think it's worth much but if it wasn't flooded with water and mold and everything like that a lot of this stuff will be like worth a lot of money man you can make a killing off of this place if you had an ebay account I'm not giving y'all any ideas but i know this place is not going to last forever that's why i'm not going to give any hints on where it's at we need to protect this stuff and preserve it as much as we can. But I know one day it's just not going to be here. I like this coffee table too. If you clean it up just right, I mean, you could sell it. No problem. Still in pretty good shape. Let me see. Pretty heavy too. The sofa has seen better days. You're not going to be able to salvage none of that. But the wood pieces, yeah, you might. Now let's take a look at this floor. I don't think I looked at the floor yet. No, this is like tear me down stuff. You're not going to be able to do much with this. Just use it as firewood. And here we go again. You got people with afros right there. Now you could tell us back in the day when all the old ladies had afros and stuff. All right, we're going to go upstairs in just a bit. But let's check on our friend in here to see how he's doing because they do have a bird in here that I'm going to try to get out um, before I leave. He's, he's actually trapped inside. And uh, let's see if we can rescue him. Look, he's right there. It's like a blue jay, I think. Yeah. How do, how do you... I don't understand. You know, birds, they crawl in like the most smallest spaces, but they can't find their way out an open door. Like right here where I'm standing. Hey, guy. I guarantee you if I go over there, he's going to go crazy. But we're going to try to get him out. This room right here. Let me scroll back. Let me see what's going on in here. I hate to step in here because it feels like I'm going to fall through the floor. Got some old CDs and stuff. All right, let's go upstairs. And we'll come back for him later. heading upstairs here we go anybody upstairs just here to take pictures okay good nobody answered that could be a good thing or a bad thing but I don't hear anything in this house so that's a good thing I mean because you can hear a pin drop in this house it's so quiet all you hear is the haunting of breeze and the wind flowing by and here we go. I know it looks like a mess, but if you look through all the mess, you can find some hidden gems in here. So let's do that. I kind of think that these are the owners of the house. Maybe. Don't ask me how I'd know that. But if I had to take a guess, maybe. I think that was downstairs. Coming over here. I guess these people like Barbara Streisand a lot. I, f I actually forgot who that is. Is that an actor or a singer? I think it's a singer, but I could be wrong. And 
write down in the comments if you want to know what that is because I, I have no idea the Atlantic group got some old Elvis Presley records Victor for old times sake here comes grandma and grandpa um, let's see what else we got that looks like a younger version of that guy we just saw in the picture possibly maybe I don't know yeah here he is again this is a much older picture And this is cool for all you Star Wars geeks out there. All the Star Wars fans. Star, no, Star Trek. I'm sorry. Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. When did this movie come out? 1982. That's the year I was born. Shit. And here we have an old Canon monitor. CRT screen, very old. What is this? My name is Asher Lev. Never heard of that. Wait, hold on. This is interesting. It's kind of caught my attention a little bit. Okay. What is your cat trying to tell you? Why is he so finicky every time he meows for food? I feed him and then he won't eat. And then the cat says, what is her problem every time I meow? To get my stomach rubbed she feeds me well <laughs> then there's that yeah cats can be strange sometimes here's like an old christmas catalog right here right on the back you can order these nice looking reindeers for ten dollars each now this paper right here it says march 30th 1998 this does not feel like a real newspaper at all this feels like somebody like faked this stuff and just put it here this doesn't look that old, but it could be. I mean, I don't know. It doesn't feel like real newspaper. Just it's too flimsy. All right, let's find our way out of chair and go up in this room. Let's let's pop in here real quick. Well, that's the bathroom. Not much to see in there. It's just an old looking, maybe '80s or '60s bathroom, maybe. And then we pop off in this room right here, and this is gonna be another favorite for y'all in the comments this looks like it's been set up maybe by a photographer but who knows I mean it could have just been left here just like this as a memorial uh, whoever died here because I'm pretty sure that's what happened that's what happens to most time capsule houses but uh let's see what we can see over here let's turn on the good old cell phone light because it's better than nothing Looks like he was in the army, whoever served in the army. Thank you. Some old books. I like this. An Indian hid flask. Probably during World War II. Same thing with this lighter here. Just a little Zippo. Nice coffee mug. Another flask or bottle. Look at that old radio. RCA Victor. Can we turn this knob on it? Yeah, we can actually. As old. It looks like whoever lived here, they probably played football back in the day. It's an old football helmet. Not the oldest I've seen, but that's pretty old. Let's get some close details on the American flag. Because people like to see all that dirt and grime. Here's the cross of Jesus right there, laying oh so gently on his pillow. Look at that. Wow. I wonder if this one has 48 stars or 50 stars. I don't really want to find out because there's going to be a lot of dust flying around. Okay, say it with me. No abandoned house is complete without seeing Christmas decorations and of course a singer show, uh, sewing, showing, <laughs> sewing machine. You got the thread right here made by singer. That is heavy, heavy duty right there. God. I mean, that's, that looks like some kind of steampunk stuff made back in the locomotive days, but I don't think it was. But I know it's old. And here we have some light bulbs. Total maintenance cassette. I don't have no idea what those light bulbs would go to. Let's check the closet. 
Oh, what is that? What is this? All right, here we go for all you video game nerds out there. Solid state cartridge. What? What was what, what was that? Oh, for a Texas instrument. Huh. All right, so I thought it was like a um old Atari game or something, but it's not. And here I wouldn't really call this a secret passage, but it could be, you know. Somebody was trying to get you, you go way over there. What is that thing shining over there? I don't know what that is. What's over here? Nothing. Okay. Yeah, we're still in this room right here. But look how much mildew is all over this place. I got my mask on right now, thank God. You can see, like, the exposure of the beams with all the nails exposed. This is all mildewed over. This house, you're not going to be able to save it even if you tried to buy it. There's, I mean, you can't save. It's too messed up. I would say all this stuff is a tear-me-down. Maybe. Yeah, because look, all the wood looks very warped. It's filled with water and moisture. Probably just be best to tear it down. But yeah, that's what we got. One thing we didn't check, though, is down here. Look how old that luggage is. Wow. And then there's that too. An old... T oh, so that's what that is. That's the Texas instrument right there. It says it right here. And I guess you put that game cartridge in there and play it. Maybe. Maybe not. I wonder if there's anything in this thing. Let me see. Somebody put Mardi Gras beads in there, it looks like. Alright, so I think I'm going to go ahead and rescue our little friend back there. Because I didn't want to leave him hanging. He looks like he can't find his way out, so... I'm going to be using two cameras right here, one GoPro and one other camera to catch both angles. Here we go. All right, come follow me. All right, come on, buddy. GoPro died, so I gotta use my camera. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come here, come here. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, he's a beast. Come here. Let me get you out of here. Come on. Here we go. Oh. There we go. Come on. Come on. All right, here we go. Here we go. Go fly off. Get you hurt? Whoa. What's going on? Here we go. He's safe. All right, now we get to celebrate. He's safe. <laughs> <laughs>